that the hour of seven is upon us, the meeting of the Holbrook Public School Committee of Thursday, January 12, 2017, will be called to order. Would you all please rise and join us in pledging allegiance to our nation's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our next item on the agenda are uh, on the public participation of citizen concerns. Are there any citizens who wish to address us? Seeing none, we'll turn to the next item on the agenda, the Holbrook Police Building Access for Training. And I see two distinguished uh, guests, and I'll start with you, uh, Chief uh, <coughs> Smith. Uh, would you uh, please, uh, it's, you have the floor. We're looking to get um, two things, to do our training in the um, April vacation here, uh, the kids on here, and also do some heavy training in the school's vacant. And part of that training will be it involves the state police stop team, which is the SWAT team. We want to do hard access to the building, which involves detonation of doors and stuff like that. No one will be heard the loud on, on the property with them. As long as I was, when I talked to the contractor, he said, as long as you don't bring the utilities or any of that, it'd be fine. But they just want to smash doors. If there was a little, um, I think that's called the ram, the ram, and smash the butt doors and stuff like that. It's great training. It's training they don't have access to. Um, they can only do it in, in vacant buildings, which they don't have access to a lot. And it's dynamic entry, so it's, they need, it's, it, it's, it's quite involved, small explosives, mechanical breaching operations. So the stop team wants to come in, as well as Metrolec, which is our SWAT team, which is Northport County uh, Law Enforcement Council. So you mean there are two different SWAT teams? Yeah, one will come in for you know two or three days, and the next one will come in for two or three days. And when would this be? Whenever the building. Whenever the building is vacated. When the building is vacated. Okay. okay. Um, there be no structural damage to the building at all. Just, Just doors. doors, maybe windows and stuff like that. Right before the demo. Right, right before the demo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Mike, have you got any idea when that might be? Yeah. Yes, we have some dates when we yeah. will be vacating and then... Uh... We talked to the, the owner's project manager today and they gave us um, the, it goes from, um, we're going to be, if school ends on June 19th, we'll have from June 19th to July 5th, we have to turn it over to the... Um, the construction company so that's going to be the moving time and they want to take advantage of that those two weeks so what um, Joel Seeley said is that we could have um, that the Sundays that we have between those dates would be okay for um, drills if they could do that if that worked out with your schedule with okay are there any uh, before we do a motion of any kind is there any um, discussion from the school committee members regarding this I'm just curious, would it, is it an opportunity to train other area uh, forces besides Holbrook? Well, it's, it's the, the Metro Lake comprises of all the counties within okay. Holbrook County, so they would need, you know, a few days in, and then the stock team and the uh, state police the last four years, you know, we do the active shooter training every year. They come in, they do it for free for us, and it's probably the best training. Well, we don't have. want anyone to get hurt either. Who's responsible if somebody gets hurt? We need to have some sort of... Comprehensive insurance or indemnification. I mean, it would be on them. <coughs> well, it would be, would be on them. Well, you say that, but I mean, we would want to have something, I think, uh, more um, robust, you know, in, mm -hmm. in place before that occurs because it is, you know, Are you referring building. to the, to those that Yeah, and the SWAT team participating and they, they blow something up or they come in and something collapses on somebody, God forbid, but, you know, I don't. I mean, they're not talking huge explosives. No, I understand, but I mean... Uh, flashbang. Right. Flashbang. Well, you have to understand sometimes we have to think of the worst right. case scenario, too. So if you could provide uh, the school with... Um, it's not going to happen today, so I think this will take this as a... Uh, I don't think we'll take a vote on this today, but if you, if you, Chief, could provide us with some more information about that aspect of it in other areas where they've done it, I'll talk, you know. to, I'll talk to Jim Crowley too with insurance. Company. Okay, yes. that would be much appreciated. Would, would it be easier if they signed waivers and we provided like notification 
Um, maybe, maybe not. It's hard. I would want, we'll probably want to look at what you, material you have, and you might want to look at some other areas where they've done this and what they've provided, just as a you know a template. Would they be on their ship? Would they be covered by their own municipality yeah. yeah. on their ship? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 probably a way to do that. Yeah. It would just be like active shooter training about active shooter training and something flew and hit me in the eye and I lost my eye. Right. Well, the only difference is when you're at a range, it's a different thing. You know, this is a building that's, I don't know what state of repair it's, it needs. Uh, hopefully it's its in good repair right now. But um, why don't we take, I don't think we need to take a vote today. Do we, Chief, we can wait till our next meeting at the beginning of February? Okay. Is that no, uh, fair enough? Okay. Why don't we, is that agreeable with the board? We'll just get a little more information before we take our vote. I think we're, at, you know, positively disposed to do it. I th just think we want to get a few more facts on the table. Can, can I ask one more follow-up question? Yes, of course. You know, this recognizes that this training is really critical, important training, you know, for the safety of, you know, students, you know, um, throughout Massachusetts. But uh, the superintendent mentioned that Sundays were available. Is that what you, just Sundays? Is that because um, there, during that, that those two weeks, we only have that time because they have to use the um, the, the weekdays to move everything out of here so they can't have people in here blowing it up while they're mm -hmm. moving the things out. And this building needs to be cleared because the construction company um, comes in on July 5th and takes it over and will demolish things. So it has to be done in that window. We don't, uh, and we won't be out of school till then. So there, it's a small window. And I asked about Saturdays, but they, it, it, they, the moving company may need to use those. And I said, but I doubt you're going to use Sundays. And they said, probably that would be the time to do it. And I suppose that's another issue too, is if for some reason the integrity of the building has been altered from the presuppositions of the dem demolishers, you know, we'd want to make sure everybody's in sync with exactly what's going on so there's no, you know, miscommunication there. All right. Yeah. I think that can all be resolved. Yeah, we wouldn't come in here and they start demolishing. No. No, no, I understand, but I'm just saying if there was a weakening or then, you know, because they, they're probably making presuppositions of how they demolish a building. I just want to make sure all the ducks are in place. would be uh, abatement, which would be they're going to take the floor tiles and spend mm -hmm. stuff. I see. So that would be before they did anything structural. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want them to be in and out and done before any of the demolition mm -hmm. process is begun. Yeah. Correct. Because they won't start that till the 5th. That'll be... Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, this has been very useful information, and we'll act on this as an action item at our next meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Okay. Thank you. Um, our next... Uh, Item is a report from the Student Advisory Committee. Welcome again. Glad you're both here. Thank you. Um, why don't you please introduce yourselves again? I'm Rachel Robichaud. I'm a senior. I'm Haley Manning. I'm a sophomore. Very good. <laughs> All right. So to start us off, we just wanted to remind everyone that midterms are next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So everybody's gearing up, getting their study guides ready, and getting prepared for that, and to switch over their classes to the next semester. Um, Project Stride, Mr. Goodale's class, is going on two field trips coming up, and I was talking to Tony Paul today, and he was very excited about it. Um, they're going to Stop and Chop, and they're going to the Hobart Public Library, and they're all very excited about that. Um, there's also a field trip coming up on January 26th to Children's Hospital for any prospective nurses in the school, and I went on the field trip last year, not because I wanted to be a nurse, but just because... I wanted to go somewhere into the medical field. Um, but it's basically like you go and talk to nurses and they give you like a rundown of their day to day and they show you what it's really like. It's just, it's a really cool seminar and I don't know if you get to tour the building, but a couple of years ago I think they got to tour the hospital and that's really cool. Uh, student government did a random acts of kindness the month of February, or I'm sorry, they're going to do uh, a random acts of kindness the month of February. And city council setting it up? Yes. So we have this um, plan we're making. We're in the process of making these like keychain things. And the process is still kind of a little bit fuzzy as to what exactly we're going to do. But it's the entire month of February minus the week of vacation, obviously. Um, if you get caught doing a random act of kindness, a teacher will give you a bead. And if you get, I think it's if you get three white beads and three blue beads after the two full weeks that we have, 
you get a prize at the end and there's like a bunch of different I don't know exactly mm -hmm. what's going on but it's something mm -hmm. along those lines and it's going to be exciting mm -hmm. yeah um, athletics Mr. Gifford won his 400th game and we are very excited for him and I know all of you have seen it it's been all over yeah. everywhere um, and it was a really great turnout of both Holbrook and Avon alumni players I was really shocked to see how many people were actually there at that game uh, the musical rehearsals for back to the 80s began no yes they <laughs> began right after vacation. right after vacation yeah um, and the dates for the shows are going to be March 31st and April 1st. I believe they're at 6 7. 7, 2, and 6. Mark your calendars. Um, <laughs> and then the last thing on our list is the National Honor Society is hosting another Children's Hospital blood drive on January 26th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. 1.30, sorry. Great. Thank I, you. I'm, I'm going to ask for a brief recess for one minute. I'm sorry. It's, this meeting is in your recess. time estimate of your uh, report, uh, Dr. Lally. Um, it should be fairly. Would you say five minutes? Sure. Okay. Please. So we're going to skip <laughs> over the uh, the next item and get back to that uh, in five minutes. We'll start with okay. uh, Dr. Lally's report. Okay. So the uh, on the building update. Um, we are now looking at uh, what the other day we went into Boston and looked at the new logos that were uh, being uh, designed for the school. Um, they've come up with one that um, can be used in multiple ways, so you can have it on different backgrounds and, and use it for clothing and for the gym floor. And um, it's uh, kind of a modernized bulldog, so it's still a bull bulldog, but it's um, a modern looking one. So I think that's Everybody seems to like it, and it's going to be brought to the Permanent School Building Committee um, this month, next week, and uh, voted on for adoption. And then you guys will see it all. And you, can, you can give your opinions of it, too. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, people thought we needed an up, upgraded look. So um, it should be interesting to get your reactions. Um, then we've also been looking at... Um, the furniture again, so we're kind of finalizing that. We've had um, multiple meetings on that, and we've looked at them today, the uh, different pieces of furniture so we can make adjustments before those go out to bid. We met with the um, moving committee today, and that RFP will be written soon, so we will see you know, what um, mover we will be using, and we'll be able to get things organized, and um, we're getting salvage lists at the moment. And um, you know, hopefully, we will uh, be saving some of the pieces of furniture and equipment that are in decent shape, so that um, you know they could be reused or um, they can be repurposed re to other um, people in town or however we want to do them. Um, so the after that, um, we are still looking at the technology being revised and that should be ready for next week's building committee meeting too. So there, there's a lot of things going on at that meeting and, and they will all benefit students. So I did update uh, a little bit, not much to the transition plan, but I added some of the things into it and um, so I'm just going to pass that out now. Can I a question? Yes. Um, it kind of came up in the process of my, my building floors, and you partially answered mm -hmm. the question, but can we store some of the furniture um, at like the south of the Kennedy? Mm -hmm. That's a plan. Because, because yes. you know, it's going to, once everybody's in mm -hmm. there, you know, it could, in spite of best laid plans, it could mm -hmm. suddenly occur to somebody, oh, wow, I could really use a, right. and fill in the blank. That's, the, the, yeah. That's the plan. So there's going to okay. be a salvage list of things um, that will be going to the new school and a salvage list that will go to either JFK or the, or the South and so that those items can be used in the future because we have some like these uh, chairs, not necessarily, necessarily those, but uh, the one I'm sitting in and the one you're sitting in, those are, um, there's a lot of those that can be used if we needed those for um, another meeting or whatever. 
and um, they're in good shape, so we don't need to throw them out and we'll bring them over there. But there's a number of things. I still like these tables, but I'm not sure anybody well, else will be. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> like these tables. But so we'll have those. But okay, and um, what about once we decide we've taken and used all the furniture that we're going to, mm -hmm. we don't even stop it. Right. In temporary storage, then what do we do with them? Then we have it's going to be, sale? well, it's going to be your decision. Okay. So um, after that, we come up with what's left. If there's furniture and um, and it, w w that we're not going to take over or set, you know save for the future, then um, the school committee can decide where you know how. I'm going to stop you right there, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lyon. You can continue your report after we. Uh, I think that's all of it. Well, well <laughs> we may have some questions. So okay, we are now going to um, make a, a vote to go into executive mm -hmm. session to conduct collective bargaining and discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining for the teacher unit and we will reconvene in open session. So um, I would like that, uh, would someone make a second to that motion? Second. And now we will take a roll call vote to go into executive session. Would you please uh, read the names off of Bridget? Uh, George? Yes. We are now in the gave us a yes. report, and are there any questions? Um, you, you gave us the building report. Did right. you give us the personnel? I didn't do the personnel. Why don't you no. do that first? I would please. like to. Are you Thank ready? Thank you so much. Okay. Um, Pat Chalupa, who's been a fantastic paraprofessional, um, has retired. And, um, you know, we would like to thank her for her service. Her plaque is not ready yet, but we will invite her in when the plaque is ready and, and we can honor her because uh, she, she has been exceptional. Um, we also have um, a new hire, and um, let's see, we have a long-term sub who's in for um, uh, the special ed uh, teacher in the South School, Ellen Blaney, and then she uh, came on board January 6th, so we're happy to have somebody in that room. Okay. So now, are there any questions uh, to question. the superintendent? You had some. I have some. Yes. Sure. Uh, let me just correct. And Trish doesn't know back in. Uh, um, okay. Just going back on the transition plan. Um, sure. So I'm wondering when we can expect information on, for one thing, the transportation. Um, We'll have to see. Okay. All right. We'll wait until she comes up. And then there are a lot of documents that you know we put in here. Um, you know, thinking at the next meeting, we should start getting some of these. Some of them are, are just asking for current status, mm -hmm. and then once you yeah. determine what it's going to look like next year, mm -hmm. we can use it for comparison. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd do, uh, you know, when we find out, we could put the names there and have what's this year's assignment and next year's assignment, but that, that won't be ready for a bit. When do you anticipate that being ready? Uh, a lot of the things aren't done until the end of the year, and that's typical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions for Dr. Lally? Um, yes. Somebody has just, you know, brought up, and I guess we should add mm -hmm. it to the plan in terms of... Um, when the building opens mm -hmm. the first few weeks in terms of traffic control, are we mm -hmm. going to need um, a police detail? Um, you know, what's the mm -hmm. expectation for that? Yeah. Because it's a whole Well, we're having a, a meeting with the, uh, so there's a, a traffic, I don't know what you'd call it, a subcommittee that we're going to be looking at the flow. So that's something that the construction company is doing with us, and then we'll see from that what's going to happen. So it's it's kind of a, you know, that's going to be after the after we have that meeting, and that meeting is, is probably coming up soon, but not yet. So, Trish, you were brought in as a uh, witness by uh, Dr. Lally when she was <laughs> asked by uh, Vice Chair Tolson about the transportation issue, and they said, let me get a hold of Trish. So <laughs> what can you tell us in terms of the transition plan Okay. Uh, with regard to that? So uh, we've been in, uh, in touch with the first student a uh, number of times via telephone and email. We've got the, the lists of the students. Um, 
and we're having our first in-person meeting tomorrow at First Student, uh, and we'll be talking to, having a teleconference with Versatran, they're the company that uh, does the rooting system, so uh, we'll, we'll have roots and possibilities. Um, I've got some in hand, mm -hmm. so tomorrow and such we're starting them. Okay. And we're doing a variety of, of measures, a mile from the school, a mile and a half, two miles, you know, because we're going to consider different scenarios. Right. When, when will right. you have that completed? Um, depending on what they say tomorrow, um, within a week or two. Okay. So do you think we might have it by our next meeting? Oh, I'm sure you will. All right, and included in the transition plan, okay. if you would. So okay. at that point, we'll have some real hard numbers on mm -hmm. the number of runs, number of students. Yes. Okay. And, and, and possible costs. scenarios. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so you'll have the, the breakdown of costs for all the proposed mm -hmm. Those different well. options, yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and just so as, um, it doesn't get lost, it's just to include, you know, add in the uh, transition plan about, you know, consideration of uh, police detail mm -hmm. as the new mm -hmm. school opens. So, you know, we continue to look at that as, you know, I think it's going to be necessary. Yeah. You know, if you open up this. Because we plan. did that last year. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we will we'll do the same thing for the obviously for the opening of the building, but we want to know what the loop is and what the whole pro where the construction people will be before we can decide what we need for that. Right, right. But yeah. given that the entrance will be truly opposite what right. it is now, mm -hmm. and right. and even more so because I assume we'll go up the construction road because that's the road that goes around. Right now, so that's that there, but they so they're going to make alterations to it. Right. That's what we're going to find out. And but that would have but it's completely communicated right. with right. the families, right? Mm -hmm. right. right. But it's a completely opposite mm -hmm. configuration, so I yeah. think that a police detail has to happen. It will, it's just it, it's the same thing as we did last yeah. year, and we did the communication of the new route, and we did all of that before. But we, you know, we just need to know what it is first before we can right. put it out there, right? Yeah. Any other questions for Dr. Lally? Very good. All right, now speaking about our school business administrator, okay. Trish Lugo, you're in the baddest box. Okay, so again, you have FY17's budget and expenditures um, sort of from the packet to you. Nothing is unusual or um, we're not worried about anything at this point. So we're running, just running along smoothly in FY17. All right. Um, has everyone had a chance to look at the? Any are there any questions? No. All right. Well, that's the nicest compliment you can get. Right. We'll now turn to some discussion items of the fiscal 18 uh, budget proposal review. Um, do you have something for us on this? Are there any updates? Actually, I haven't heard a thing. I. Um anything from the town I haven't heard anything I spoke to the town administrator last week and he said he had it under advisement so I will follow up with him after the holiday and uh, hopefully uh, one thing I did see however was a request from the capital improvement committee to have material in by the end of this month for mm -hmm. a six-year yeah, period, right. have you seen? You mm -hmm. saw that. Yes. What have you been working on with um, that? Mike and I have been talking, but which we, the threshold of thirty-five thousand dollars is a is an issue. Um, we're hoping that at some point it could be changed to something else because it, it makes it. We're looking for a tractor that can um, um, help us with the fields, with the sidewalks, with a lot of different things um, in the building, uh, in the new building. So. Um, you know, from the pricing so far, it you know, it, it, that 35000 we may be able to make that, but it's just not looking... Well, why can't we make an amendment at, of what a capital improvement is? Because it seems to me we're going to have a lot of software and a lot of hardware that, you know, in some towns would be considered capital improvements. I think the definition of a capital improvement is probably antiquated. Mm -hmm. You know, it was written, you know, 20 or 30 years ago. And perhaps uh, with the assistance of our 
a computer uh, expert, you know, maybe we could propose, would that be all right with you, Nancy, if you might meet with Dr. Lally and propose some kind of an amendment to the definition of capital improvement with the idea that, you know, some of these items that are going to come up, well, they really are capital improvements more than they are budget items, particularly when we're talking about you know, computers and, and the software and all that sort of material, the defense systems. And I mean, I don't know that none of that was contemplated when they defined capital improvement before. And I think that, you know, maybe a second look at that, of course, will be up to the, I, I don't think that the, uh, the town would be adverse to that necessarily. Well, I don't know. I mean, the threshold originally was 25000 and they've upped it apparently to 35 and I presume there was some logic involved in that. Um, my suggestion, if they want a six-year plan, it seems to me that four years down the road, I mean, you know, I know Mike's talked about, you know, the sidewalk plow and, mm -hmm. you know, appropriate things for maintaining the new school. Was the um, bylaw changed? Did I, I miss remember. that? Do you um, recall yeah, the bylaw change? it changing? was changed. It was yeah. changed. Okay. The amount was changed. Yeah. But, it, but it seems to me four years down the road, we should have a capital improvement item to start replacing the computers. Well, that's right. So I, what I'm suggesting Either to you, Dr. Lally, is it's got to be more than just the tractor mm -hmm. and the... No, no, not, I'm not just saying, for example, ...or the buses yeah. or whatever, however mm -hmm. you're going to get in the vans, but I would look at some of those areas. Right and see whether we can come to some common ground if there needs to be an amendment you know to the definition of capital improvement mm -hmm. to maybe try to uh, get that through because you know people put a lot of time and expense into this building and they're certainly paying a lot of money mm -hmm. for it and we want to make sure that the school is running properly and people are getting a good value for their dollar so I think you're right that maybe an amendment has to be made because when we talked about technology in the past, it may have met the monetary threshold, but it didn't it seem to be accepted as a category for capital right. improvement. How does the rest of the committee feel about that? Just throwing it out there. Is it the dollar threshold that's the, the concern for the definition? Well, it's the dollar threshold, but there's more to me is the definition of what a capital improvement is. Mm -hmm. And I just think it should be a little, it should be more updated. Now, several years ago, um, they, I mean, I guess it was through capital improvement, but we did a lease to own program or payout and, and got new computers that way on a three year lease program. And that might be a way to kind of factor it in to the, um, again, I don't know whether it's computer type stuff is, or technology is no longer in capital improvement, but certainly when you replace $250,000 in technology every five years, that's definitely a capital that's item. It's a capital item. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying I think we yeah. have to Yeah, I have to look at the mature. definition. I'm, I'm not in, All right. In, in, the next meeting of the Capital Improvement Committee is, is um, January 24th, so it's around the corner. And I think that's when they want this. So, you know, mm -hmm. you'll have to go into a little overdrive on that. Mm -hmm. and, but, I, but I do think that that's something, again, it, because it shows us or it shows the town that we're looking ahead if they want six yeah, years, then four years and five years out, all these things need to start being replaced. We had the tablets on there at one time. We, we, we did. We took them off. off because, mm -hmm. Not because I didn't think it was, didn't meet the definition. I think was because we knew we were going to get them through... I think we had them on there twice. We had them yeah. a time before that. Yeah. And well, I think there was a definitional yeah. complaint. Was it they made a complaint yeah. about it. Yeah, the first time. Oh, okay. it. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying I think we've got to update that. Yeah, I have to take a look. But you've got somebody here I think who can help you articulate right. what that definition mm -hmm. should be. And uh, your meeting again. When's your next meeting of that business group? Uh, the uh, Tuesday, the seventeenth. The seventeenth. Um, you might want to mention that too okay. at that all right mm -hmm. good um, okay uh, well I think we've got to do a little work maybe Nancy get together have a subcommittee meeting on the budget uh, sooner rather than later yeah. um, probably the next week or so is that all right 
We'll work that out. We'll set that up, and then uh, we'll make a report, an updated report at our next committee meeting. Yeah. All right. I do have a question on the FY18 yes, please. budget. Not a specific budget question, about, but rather um, getting it posted so people can see it. I mean, we've approved it. Right. Um, it should be posted. Mm -hmm. It absolutely should be posted. Here is the draft of the budget. Right. It absolutely should be posted. Okay. Yeah. I will right. post it or link it to my usual. Oh, that absolutely should be well, on the school website. Yeah. Well, that yeah. too. Is I would think it would be on the school website. I did not read it. I couldn't no. find it. No. I thought 15. we had directed to do that at our last that meeting. That might be wrong. Mm -hmm. no, I think it was to give it to Tim Gordon, but I, I think um, I think the budget will All right. Well, let's do it now. Yeah, it should be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also a hard copy available to whoever wants it. Mm -hmm. All right. So now the, um, is there anything more to be said on the fiscal 18? Okay, let's turn to the school committee subcommittee member report. Um, I actually would like to make a little report on the uh, foundation. Um, I can't say that the committee met, but I did have the chance to talk to Dr. Haggerty uh, extensively, and he had some modifications to the bylaws. And I am hoping that that private foundation will get started uh, in the next couple of months. So, uh, you know, they'll certainly be setting up as a corporation and then they'll be applying for the 501c3 status but um, you know it's my earnest hope that that will become a conduit not only for substantial um, help to the faculty and the students uh, but with the fundraising capabilities and the, and the capabilities of foundation be able to track alumni you know, uh, to keep records that, you know, that haven't been kept in a way that's very sophisticated. And Dr. Haggerty, as both of you, as you may know, he's, he's been a, he's twice a college president, once a provost. Um, he's a current college president. He was actually one of the uh, people that uh, was at the beginning of the, uh, the federal uh, school uh, education department and did a lot of special needs. So he's a great asset, and I know that the committee, the, the private committee, is going to be looking at somebody locally to help, you know, set that up. But I think that that's starting to move, however, slowly out of the station. And uh, is that your sense of it, uh, too, Nancy? And we have another meeting on January 31st. Okay, great. So that will be. Uh, That'll be something to look forward to, um, as well as uh, thinking about the hanging towers of Babylon. <laughs> the um, okay. So now, any other subcommittee reports? Beth, do you have a report? No. No. Huh? All right. Are there school committee member reports? Yes. All right. <laughs> Member it's Davis, please uh, please uh, speak to us. Um, I did my annual building tours this week, um, so I want to thank the principals for taking the time to take me around and uh, seeing all the great things going on in our school buildings, and just you know a couple basketball games. Um, they seem to be doing well. Uh, there's been a hiatus with the vacation, so. All right. Any other reports? That's it. Okay. We'll now turn to the school committee minutes of December the 22nd, 2016. Are there any corrections? So would someone like to make a motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. That passes unanimously. Uh, we'll next turn to, um, uh, is there any old business to come before the committee? <coughs> is there any new business? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Just one item. Um, the communication subcommittee uh, I'd like to request 
the presentation of the results of the survey at our next meeting. All right, I think that's a capital idea. We'll put that on the agenda. All right. Thank you. Um, right. Well, our next item was to vote to go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining for the teacher unit and not to reconvene an open session. Um, however, my sense of that is it's really a subcommittee uh, meeting, so um, we will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. This meeting is adjourned. Thanks for coming.